In Stanford, after Friday's walkthrough, the team is addressed by a courageous and special young man. Hi, Coach. I'm Erin, Kate's mom. Cancer and stroke survivor, Cade Spinello. Cade, come on up here, buddy. Hey, so Cade, a.k.a. Super Cade here. Um, I've known him for about five years now. Um, he's been an inspiration to me, and, and once you guys hear a little bit about his story and, and the legacy that he's carrying on. Um, Jesse Reese uh, started the Negu Foundation, stands for Never Ever Give Up, um, kids across the world battling cancer. Jesse having a past, she's, she's from my hometown and uh, Kate's carrying on her legacy um, and, and to say he's a superstar um, would be an understatement. So without further ado, Kate, if you want to tell him a bit yeah. about your story. Hey. 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 Hi, my name's Cade. I'm 13 years old. I'm a Negu kid. You may find this hard to believe, but we have something in common. We all love the game of football. We're all working hard to reach a goal. Your goal is to win a championship, but my goal is to get better. Watching players like you helps me to Negu. Negu stands for never ever give up. Eight years ago, I was not moving my right side. I was learning to, to walk again. I was learning to talk again. Now I'm swinging it with the top quarterbacks in the nation. <laughs> what do you want us to say on three? Anything you want. Oh, um, Nigu. Yes, sir. Let's do it. Nigu on three. You got it. One, two, three. Nigu! <laughs> Super K has been a football fan his whole life, giving inspiration to many players in the conference, including Stanford QB, KJ Costello. This year especially, Costello needs the pick-me-up, a potentially promising senior season for the NFL prospect has thus far been defined by injuries. Costello throwing for the end zone for Parkinson, who had double coverage, and it's incomplete. I think KJ Costello's got a problem with this thumb, though. He is still favoring. KJ Costello is out with an injured right thumb on his throwing hand. It happened against Oregon, where he hit a lineman. He said that this is an injury that he's had before. With the loss of KJ and other key pieces, the Cardinal are struggling this season. We are in process to, to play our best football. We haven't seen it. One way we can play today, and that's together. There's no defense, there's no offense, there's no special teams, just us versus them. Family on three! One, two, three! Family! The Stanford walk is traditional. It's been going on for a long time. Uh, there's something to be said about feeling that environment and feeling that involvement. Uh, for our fans to feel like they're part of our pregame ritual. That anticipation that builds towards kickoff, it's exciting. There's really not a lot like it. My favorite part is spotting my family members, those I love in the crowd. Um, that's always a, a, a powerful moment for me. I'm a big, uh, big butterflies guy, and that's one of the reasons why I love the game. I know that I put in my work on the front end. From that point on, I'm ready to go down and, and play with my brothers. Gentlemen, shake hands. Let's have a great game. Khalil Tate got the Wildcats on the board early. Could KJ Costello overcome the uncertainty of his health and do the same for the Cardinal? Costello will go to work for the 25. KJ Costello lobs it for the end zone. Unbelievable one-handed catch for the touchdown. Costello looking for it, going deep. Fajoko, the catch. He dives. He's in. Touchdown, Stanford. The fade route. Fajoko, did he hang on? He did. Touchdown, Stanford. Second time Costello has hooked up with Simi Fajoko today for his score. His third touchdown pass of the game gave KJ Costello and his team the lead. 
and tacking on a field goal in the fourth provided a bit of insurance. Now down 10, the Wildcats were desperate for a comeback. Khalil Tate for the end zone. Did he pick it off? He did, the second interception for Debo today. Put your hand in the cookie jar one too many times. The Cardinal bounce back from that loss to UCLA. Even their record at four and four in the season and their Pac-12 record goes to three and three. So how do you feel right now after your first game in several weeks? Hey, regardless of how I feel, team victory feels amazing, right? I mean, we all work so hard. We sacrifice so much with our families, friends, everything. So being back out here with my boys feels unbelievable. You brought your friend Super Kate in to speak to the team yesterday. He said Stanford by 14 and you would have four touchdowns. Really close, a really good estimation by him. But what does it mean to have a guy like that come out here and talk to your team? I remember the first time he told his story at the Elite 11, and I got chills inside of me. And to have five, ten of my teammates come up to me before the game yesterday and say, hey, man, like I got chills listening to Kate. I mean, at the end of the day, that's what it's all about. I mean, inspiration is everything. It's what keeps us going, and that kid's got a, a wild way of inspiring people. Congratulations on this one. Thank you very much. LCS! LCS! Who's LCS?